Well, all right, guys. Hey, how you doing? Uh, these my cook is just about finished. And I think I already took off the briskets and uh, two of the other pork butts. So I got four pork pork butts left, and they're right at uh, 200 degrees. But I want to take them like you know 201, 203. Okay, but they've been wrapped up for maybe an hour and a half. And all, almost, almost done. Okay. Uh, you probably can't see it, but my pilot, light, my pilot light is still on, and I'm going to give you guys some lesson learns and some of the uh, some uh, advice that Mark gave me to keep your pilot light on. Okay, uh, but right now I do have my uh, pit boss slightly in my garage. You know, I got a lot of ventilation, uh, so I know the wind was played a big factor in why my pilot light was going out and. It could be Colorado too, since I'm in a, a high altitude. Uh, I have to make sure that this pit gets, you know, uh, enough oxygen. But I have been running at Tatey Tube at 250, and it has been running. Look at that. It's a, it's right at 250, just over 255. Okay, but it would go to 275, uh, maybe sometimes high as 300, and then it would shut off and then go back to 250. And then uh, it'll keep going on and off. Uh, so it's been, I've been running this with the propane assist with no issues for at least two, two, over two hours, okay? But this setup right here, I gotta leave my lid open, okay? And I gotta leave this portion cracked slightly because I have noticed when I close my lid, okay? Uh, when I close my lid and I have this closed too, I noticed that my pilot light shuts off. It's just not getting enough air, enough oxygen inside the pit. Okay, so I, I leave it slightly open so I can get uh, enough air in there to keep it going. Okay, so uh, I also leave my dampers, well, at least three fourths open or wide open. My dampers wide open. All right. And then uh, these are the ones on the other side. It's just a quarter closed, but you can open it wide open too if you're having more issues. I'm trying to keep air or oxygen inside your inside your pit, okay? But it just kicked back on, okay? But I have found out again that you have to you, you got to have some air going in your pit. And I don't have any, all the lump chocolate that I used today it was just about gone, so I've been basically burning propane, you know, just over two hours. All right, so after. Man, after an all day uh, trying to figure this thing out, what's the best way for this pit for me in my area? Because like I said, I'm in a high altitude. I gotta keep it slightly open, okay? And my pilot light stays on, guys. I, I mean, I have not had an issue, you know, whatsoever. And uh, I do appreciate Mark, he did give me some good advice. He said, make sure you have a good wind block. He said, make sure that your thermocouple is not as it's not too close to your burner. And if it is, he said, just push it down some and then scoot it to the right or bend it to the right a little bit. You don't want it that close to the burner because if it does, it has a safety feature that will automatically shut it off uh, if that thermocouple. You see how the it's kind of kind of red. If that gets really, really hot, it'll shut off. Okay. But I'm gonna have to get this thing figured out now. So right there, okay, keeping it cracked keeps my pilot light lit, okay, and uh, definitely, I, I know I definitely cannot close this, this lid because if I do, it will shut off, okay. Uh, this is set at full. You can keep it at halfway, you know, to, to keep some of your, uh, not to burn through your fuel, but uh, for I've, I've been having like this for two hours and it's been burning consistent, you know, just over two. All right, and so that's the lesson learned. I think we got it figured out. You can see that it already went up to 300 degrees, so it will shut off in just a few minutes and then it'll go back down to 250. All right, guys, hey, I hope that helps. If you guys got issues uh, with keeping your pilot light on, so three reasons that it might shut off when. Not getting, enough, uh, not getting enough oxygen in your pit, and maybe your thermocouple is too close to your burner, okay? All right, guys, hey, uh, God bless.
Oh, uh, one last thing. Also, if you see that your flames are not getting enough oxygen, this could be the problem too. Because sometimes you have to open this all the way, um, unplug it, okay, and then drain some of this, say, drain some of the gas out uh, so you can get an uh, even flow. Okay, so I think it just shut off. Yep, it just shut off, but the paddle light is still on. That's awesome. Let's go see where we're at one more time. Okay, just over 300. All right, guys, I hope that helps. Hey, God bless. Uh, if you got any questions, man, y'all more than welcome to reach out, and we'll talk to you later.